you know what are these these are for my project I should have done for my bachelor's degree and this thingy here is a work of magic you know why it's actually two square inches but it has Wi-Fi and it can deliver data over Wi-Fi isn't that amazing I think that is anyway I just filmed this to add some variety to my video because today I'm going to talk about music and this thing has nothing to do with music but I think it won't be informative of what I do in my daytime job or my daytime field of study <laughs> hey guys this is the phantom speaking and uh, for now I'm going to record my video in a better time so I can shout at the camera I'm not shouting at camera actually but I can speak louder so you can hear me better and as you can see yes I got a haircut and today I'm going to talk about my loot my loot experiences and uh, even I'm going to talk about the first re uh, track I recorded unfortunately I the screencast I had recorded for the previous video was actually you know messed up uh, because I didn't know my screen recorder used the same key as the mixer launcher as FL Studio and I pressed F9 on my keyboard and it paused the video and my video was like talking about the loot history then it jumped to the sound example and after that it was jumping to the mixer channels and 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 you know that wasn't that good and I think the light here is not that good you know this light bulb anyway it's an energy saver it's not a planet hating device but I think um, that's a tool to kill my video because most of my hair is just removed there and I seem like I got bald or something anyway I'm getting bald and it doesn't matter and now I'm going to talk about my loot I explained in the previous video uh, how I got interested in loot music and um, I really like the loot if I want to talk a bit of the history of the lute, I should say there was an instrument originated in Iran and most of people think that's from the Elam civilizations and some people believing that's from Jiroft which is uh, an ancient city in modern day Iran uh, called Barbat later Barbats mm, taken from Iran to Arabic countries like Saudi Arabia and uh, they made a bit of changes on the instrument of course and they called that the Oud and you know what's the funny thing here Oud means wood in Arabic and if we wanted to call the instrument the wood in Persian we should call that tube, but we call that barbat. I don't know what barbat means, but I'm sure that's from uh, ancient Persian languages or something like that. And then the instrument had been ta uh, had been taken to Europe, and they called that the lute. And this is the history you can find even on the Wikipedia page, and there is no need of my explanations. You know even you can find more useful and even more correct information on the wikipedia or any other encyclopedia uh, which includes information about loot and loot music i watched a movie uh, by the legendary director jim jarmusch i love him i really love his movies and Yes, that's my taste in cinema. I love that type of movies. It, the movie was called Only Lovers Left Alive. And in the most of scenes, there was a lute sound. First, I thought it's the oud sound. But later, I realized it's a 
Newt. Not Oud, because Oud has more ancient and more Middle Eastern sound. Uh, but that was enough for me to get interested to this amazing instrument. If you are European and you play lute, I'm jealous to you because after about one year of buying the instrument, mm, I'm not too good at playing lute. You know, I'm not even good at playing the guitar, but I learned how to uh, make the guitar sound good. But here, I'm sad about that. <laughs> I can't play lots of pieces using my lute. Okay, sorry guys. I can't live with this. You know what is this? This is the beer, but this has no alcohol. And this is the Islamic beer. Yes, I am I'm Muslim and I live in as I live in an Islamic country. You expect me to drink alcohol? So this is my lute. Wait, okay. This is my lute. First, when I uh, saw this, I thought this is a mandolin. But the salesman told me, no, this is a laud. And I thought the laud is Arabic name of the lute. But later, I found no. That's the Spanish or Portuguese name, and the laud is also popular in Cuba and Philippines. So if you are from Cuba or Philippines or you have uh, visited there, just tell me about the music they use this instrument in. And I even shared the story of buying this instrument with um, my friends at Young Composers Forum and some Spanish guys explained me more okay I talked enough let's play some music okay this is uh, one of the most famous Iranian pop tunes and I really love that. It's called Gole Gol Duneman or My Flower in My Flower Pot. Uh, I know it doesn't make sense for you in the English, but the other name of the song is As Totan Hoshodan or You Left Me or something like that. A typical love song, and love songs are very popular here as well as other corners of the world. And how I tune this. <laughs> You heard an A minor chord, and here, A major. This is exactly a guitar which is tuned in A instead of E. It's like a classical guitar with a capo on the 5th fret. So I'm sure if I put my capo on the 5th fret of this instrument, I get an instrument which is tuned in D. And you know, you can continue this cycle to reach the E again, but I don't suggest that because no one loves a very high sounding guitar. But this type of instrument and classical guitar are quiet, mid rangey, and cool. Okay, I talked about my lute. I play the first song I wrote for the ambient uh, lute album at the end, some parts of it. But uh, let's talk about uh, why I really um, I fe uh, I felt I need this thing uh, because it really sounds like guitar, especially when I play that with my fingers. You know, when I uh, connect it to my computer, yes, this lute is well made and it even has pickups. 
and this is why I love the instrument. A very old fashioned and ancient instrument coming with a pickup. Isn't that awesome? I think it is. Uh, it really sounds like an oud and it really sounds Middle Eastern to me. And this is why I love this. Okay guys, uh, I think I talked enough about that and I even included uh, my day job or my daily works with you. Yes, electronics. I really love them and you know if there was no electronics in my life I didn't get interested in music. Uh, and let's waste a bit more time on my stupid video. Yes. Uh, it was for even this thing. This is an Arduino Uno Revision 3, I think. Yes, it is a Revision 3 one. And uh, when I bought this, I was in search of cool projects and I found a guy made a tremin out of this thing. And I tried and I failed. But I could make um, cool noises out of my Arduino using a piezo buzzer or something like that and later I find hey I was a musician let's get serious in music yes I had electric guitar and classical guitar for a while but I didn't release anything and I wasn't into music industry but uh, thanks to electronics they led me to the way of electronic music and ambient music. Late and no, I actually make every type of music. If you just go through my channel, you will find, hey, this person made every type of music and he really sucks. <laughs> I know, I know I suck, but I can make myself better. And thanks to people who helped me by their comments in YouTube, SoundCloud, and Reddit, or everywhere I share my music. And thanks to you for watching this video, and I will see you on the next video. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and even click on the links uh, which are appearing somewhere here after the video ends. Till the next time.